Okay. Good morning, guys. I'm hitting the road again. Oh, and I uh, have to pick up my cargo right where I stopped trucking yesterday. There he is. Trailer full of cars. So there we go, we have uh, luxury SUVs, 10 tons, oh, it's not that much, and I have to drive them to uh, Manchester. Yeah, there's a speed limit here of 48, uh, 50 kilometers an hour. I always try to obey the law. Uh, here it's going to change to 80. It's raining again, man.
maybe I do have to change the settings a little bit because every time I drive it's raining but hey we are in England so in England it's most of the time bad weather just like in Belgium And I have three GPS's in my cockpit in my cabin and still yesterday I managed to uh, miss an exit I had to make a little detour I don't know why he does that. Oh, that is why. <laughs> that is why. So that is so stupid. Um, he's like... That is so stupid. The whole highway is 97 kilometers an hour, but the moment there is a sign or a warning that uh, there is a flash, a speed control, then all of a sudden you can only drive 80 kilometers an hour. Well, that is a little bit wrong, isn't it? That is just wrong. <laughs> okay, so this is my first find for today already. Come on. Um, I'm going to be careful next time, so when it says 80 kilometers an hour, I'm going to drive 80 and not 90. If I drive 85, I think I can still pass the speed lim uh, the speed control. But still, 80 is 80. We have to obey the law. Don't we? We are almost there. Yeah, this was a short, uh, short trip.
Oi! <laughs> this was, uh, that was Clara. It's the guinea pig of my daughter. And this is my youngest daughter. She's driving with me in the truck. I have company. <laughs> Okay, I have to take the exit here. Be careful now. Taking the exit to Manchester. It's a rainy day. have to take the next exit again. take it easy guys I mean Manchester And it's raining like hell here man Unbelievable It's a rainy day. It's a rainy day. It's a rainy day.
Nie. <laughs> okay, this is not really the conventional way, but hey, he's there. Excellent. Alrighty then. This was my first trip. Trip, 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 trip. Okay, I'm going to do something first. I forgot. I have to go to that Truckers MP website. And uh, they have a Discord. I'm going to connect to their Discord. Oh, they are recruiting. Truckers MP is recruiting. Um, you can apply for the position of game mod. Uh, that is handling website reports, checking that all players follow the rules, etc. etc. Um, yeah, nice. Right, where is the... let's first check my profile. Oh, ugly bastard. <laughs> check the settings. Site settings, yeah, yeah, account settings, I'm going to Going to change something first. Just a second, guys. This is not going to take very long, but uh, I have like the feeling that something is wrong here. This is the end of side one of this record. Please now turn it over for the second. Yeah, this is the one I have to log in with. Okay. Alrighty then. Yeah, this is the one. Um. Going to give you guys this screen. Uh, I'm like, changing some things on the Truckers MP page. Um, World of Trucks ID, World of Trucks, here it is. Uh, my ID, well. That's just Angel Arrow, right? Right. Angel Arrow is my ID. 
Do I get... Oh yeah, here it is. But what do they want? Do they want my name or the number? The name or the number? Oh yeah, the number. I already see it. Okay. Uh, YouTube. Well, that's an easy one, right? YouTube channel. Here we go. Um, add Discord. Of course we're going to add Discord. Um... Okay, adding Discord, adding Twitch, all the other things. Yeah, the uh, the trucker's ID, copy, paste. There we go, and uh, save. There you go. It's saved. It's saved. Site settings. Okay, count settings, alright, it's all fine. Alrighty then. But now, still, Truckers MP. Guys, I want your Discord, guys. Where is your Discord? Where is your Discord, guys? Information. Traffic, blah, meet the team, rules. Come on, guys. Where is your Discord? So, your Discord is pretty far away, isn't it? Damn, man. No, no support. But their Discord is pretty far away. Um... I do know that if I go to my profile, profile settings, it gives me the possibility here as their Discord. Um, but it's like, I don't know, man. Yeah, connect. Connect to the Discord. I'm connecting. Yes, and I'm here. So I'm now part of the Discord. And yesterday I got a tip. That I have to go there and ask for the stream tag. Welcome. Oh my god. So first of all I have to go to a channel um, claim your language and ranks. Well, to be frankly honest, I don't see that channel. <laughs> and they are not saying that I have to wait for like 2 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever. I just don't have that channel. So, how the hell will I be able to 
claim anything if I don't have that channel. Rrr. And uh, I can't do anything. Well, maybe I have to wait a couple of minutes. It's perfectly possible. It's perfectly possible. So let's wait a little bit. Uh, in the meanwhile, while um, let's do another. Let's just do um, the next cargo. Alright, back to the game. And uh, let's see what we can do. First, first of all, let's see if I already have a garage here. And I don't. I don't. So first of all, I'm going to buy myself the garage here. I don't think I have it. No, I don't have it. I'm sure I don't have it because it's still all grey. So... It's like I've never been here. Let's buy it! Buy the garage, yes please, and uh, let's upgrade the garage. Then I will be able to um, take some gas here. Thank you very much. Hey, stop messing! <laughs> breakfast. Well, I'm also eating breakfast, man. Look, I'm going to show you. There's my breakfast on the dash. I'm eating a sandwich with... Um, I think it's... Yeah, pork, asp, cheese, salad, tomatoes. That's my breakfast. I need gas. Well, it's actually diesel, isn't it? It's not gasoline. That's it, or what? Okay. I was uh, only able to, to take 190 extra liters, so I was pretty much fully loaded. Okay, and first of all, um, gameplay. Let's see for this weather because it's it's terrible man. It's it's constantly raining. Constantly. Rain possibility, uh, probability. Let's put it a little bit to the left. Because now it's it's really bad. It's constantly raining, man. Okay, first of all I'm going to get myself a cup of coffee, we'll be right back guys.
here we are again. <sighs> Let's see, so I'm fully loaded. Uh, it's cheaper to take diesel uh, here in your own company than going to a gas station. Uh, let's see which jobs we have here. Um, I'm in Manchester. Uh, I can go to Denmark. I can go to Aberdeen as well. Aberdeen. Um, the north of England. Am I going to Aberdeen? Hmm. Or am I going to Denmark? Hey guys, you can choose. Am I going to Denmark or am I going to Aberdeen in uh, England? Tell me, tell me. Where do we drive to? Driving to Denmark. Okay, Denmark it is. We are going to drive to Denmark. Wood shavings. Okay. We are going to drive to Denmark. Denmark it is. Denmark it is. First we're going to get our uh, our loadout. Oh come on, stupid flies. That fly is uh, bugging me already the whole freaking morning. Okay, going way too fast by the way. Way too fast. Oh, and actually, before... Okay. I'm going to do something here that is normally something you don't do. Uh, first of all, before I take my cargo, I'm going to um, explore that road on the left here. It's still grey, so I didn't... Here we go, and there is something... You see, Scania truck dealer discovered. That is what I wanted to do. And that's also the working place. So before we do the trip to Denmark, I want to make sure that my whole truck is... No, this is... Where is the repair shop? Oh, there it is. Behind that corner. I want to make sure that uh, my truck is... Okay to do that long trip. Service. I have a little bit of damage. Oh my god. There we go. And that's it. We are ready to pick up our load and to drive to Denmark. So yesterday, me and uh, my mate, we changed our... Uh, I will show you. We changed how our truck looks like. So it's yellow and black heavy duty cargo. Uh, it's simple. But we both have the same truck now, and well, I'm driving the Volvo, he's driving the Scania. Um, but we're driving for the same company, you, you see that on my license plate, it says Belnet. That's from België, Nederland. Belnet Trucking is our VTC, Virtual Trucking Company. Um, so, everything we do is registered in our company, in the books. Uh, we do that with truck box, the truck box application, so everything goes 
automatically. Three years ago, we 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 did this all manually, you know. Um, three years ago, after each uh, delivery, we took a pause and we filled in the paperwork on our desk in real life. And after our gaming session, we um, inserted all of the data on a certain website. Uh, that way we had an overview of all our deliveries, our profits, our fines, etc, etc. Now, three years later, um, there are programs who do that for you. So, everything is automated now. That's uh, more than okay. <laughs> of course, doing the paperwork in real life was like... Yeah, it was like in real life, you know. Now it's all automated computers. But still, I think the, the real life truckers still have to do the paperwork in the cabin of their truck, right? Unless... They all have a laptop and everything is also automated and they can use programs, but I don't think so. Okay, where are my wooden chips? In the back. Are they in the back? Yeah, here they are. Here they are. If you look very carefully, when I pick up a cargo or uh, drop a cargo, if you watch my right uh, mirror, uh, then you can see the handle turning for uh, picking up the cargo. It's, it's actually nice. The details are still nice, man. Okay, so I have to turn here. Do I have the space to turn? Yes, I do. There we go. Zorg dat je zelf terug binnen kunt. Alright. So, hey man, we have. Let's have a look. The cargo wood shavings. Wood shavings, okay. 14 tons of wood shavings. And we have to drive it all the way to Aalborg in Denmark. Um, oh shit, I have only 14. 40 minutes remain, it's... Oh, I have to hurry. Let's go. I only have... Well, that's 40 minutes in real life, guys. Not in the game. It's not possible to drive from England to Denmark in 40 minutes. It's 40 minutes in real life. But hey... There we go, we're off, another adventure on the road. And there's a speed limit here of uh, 48, so let's be careful a little bit. Oh, the lights aren't working, always nice. Let's put the headlines up, the beamers. It's always dark here. Oh shit, 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 what do I have to do? 
Yeah, straight ahead. Straight ahead, boy! <laughs> yeah, stop messing, indeed. <laughs> Anders moet men inderdaad langs de kant staan. En dat willen we niet. Dat willen we niet. Oh. Control. Speed limit is 80. So don't go over 80. Speed limit is already done, probably. Just a little sec, guys. Anymore, no, no. Okay, ninety seven, so full troll. Full troll for me is ninety, of course. I have a limiter on my truck, I can only drive ninety. I'm trying to read your message, stop messing, just a sec man, there are, when I have a straight, so I want you to donate 50 euros on my steam account as payment to the fine for stopping on the road, oh my god, <laughs> are you like the ETS2 police? Yeah, that was a maneuver that was not pretty, was it? Just hitting the brakes, full stop in the middle of the road on a highway. That was not really um, Catholic. Officer Moorman. <laughs> Well, man, um, if you are interested, I just went to the Truckers MP. That's the multiplayer thing that I'm driving on, that I'm using for uh, ETS2. Uh, I've seen that there is um, a vacature for um, for a mod. Yeah. So, what do you have to do then? Well, keeping eyes open for reports from the multiplayer server, so Trucker MP and also reports from their website and stuff so they have a vacature open for uh, moderation I'm not really interested, I already have I already do tons of stuff so I don't have time to moderate their servers Matches. Get the band hammer out, boys. Yeah, man.
Oh my god, I feel it. It's uphill here. We are going uphill. And now downhill. Yeehaw! Well, I've played this uh, three years ago. I've played this with pedal, steering wheel and transmission. Manual transmission. But um, it was too painful for my bag and my shoulders, really. It was way too painful. After one hour of driving, um, my whole bag hurts, man. So I stopped doing that and I went back to my Xbox controller. Of course, if you play this with pedal, steering wheel, uh, manual transmission, it's way more fun. It's way more real. That is why it's a simulator. I can make it a little bit more real as well, um, playing the controller. I can make sure that I do have to rest. You can activate the resting times. Um, now that is not activated you can activate lots of technical stuff on your uh, truck so uh, that is when you activate those things it's way more difficult to drive your truck and certainly to maintain your truck um, but for the moment for me it's like everything is set to easy It's just plain picking up, driving and dropping the cargo. Maybe when I, uh, I get the hang of it again, I will uh, activate bit by bit the more difficult stuff. The resting times are actually nice. That is nice. You are obliged to rest now and then, just like in real life. But if you're driving um, with a companion, so like me yesterday, um, the resting times aren't the same, you know? So all depends on when he started to drive, stuff like that. So sometimes we are doing the same cargo trip, but I have to rest and he doesn't. And then on the multiplayer server all things are going to get messed up yeah man formula 1 2018 it looks dope it really looks dope man I've applied for um, a request for a game key but I don't think I'm going to get one that would be awesome 60 euros in the pocket um, but maybe, hey, who knows, maybe I get one. But the game sure looks great, man. <laughs> the game sure looks great. The graphics, the way it works, just everything. Those games are more than okay. Hey, maybe next year I have to buy the new Indy 500 game. <laughs> Just to follow Alonso a bit. Well, the last title I played was uh, Formula One 2015. Uh, I didn't play. Oh, speed limit 50, come on, no, 80, what the hell? Um, I didn't play the 2017, I don't have it. It would be great to get the 2018 on my account.
pretty quiet on the road. Uh, I have to embark here. Yeah, I have to embark. Yeah, the 100% race is 100% weekends actually. It's just great. Doing the practice, practice rounds real time. Then doing the um, help me out qualifications, and then the race itself. I did it way back, man, years ago. I really did the whole. The first I watched the Formula One weekend, and then I played that weekend over. That was just terrific. And we actually, together with a friend of mine, we actually did the same for uh, um, MotoGP as well. Yep. Alright, embarking to Esbjerg. Sorry guys, I had a little interruption and a chat with my daughter here. Okay, embarking. Uh, we are here. Esbjerg. Esbjerg. Let's go. After this trip, I'm going to take a break because um, my daughter wants me to install a program on the other computer so she can play Minecraft and record the screen uh, so she can make a little video about it and put it on her YouTube channel. Uh, like going in the father's footsteps. <laughs> Oh yeah, here I can drive on the right side of the road again. We're not in England anymore. Yes. I hate it to drive on the left side, man. I really hate it. Hey, it stopped raining. Seriously? It stopped raining. Hello, daughter of Reuben. Zaydimont, hello! Figio! <laughs> 
Speed limit is 50 here, but uh, uh, there you go, 52. We have still 234 kilometers to go. Um, you can see that the environment in Denmark is completely different than the environment in. Uh, oh shit! In in England. Oh, those stupid roundabouts. I hate those roundabouts, man. And another one. You can drive over them without doing damage, but... Yeah. You don't do that, right? There are a lot of roundabouts in Denmark and in whole Scandinavian region, actually. A lot of roundabouts. Okay, here we can drive 70. So, this is also like in real life. Um, in Belgium you can find lights on the highways. In the Scandinavian countries, you don't. Oh shit, and another roundabout. You would think that you are on the highway, but you're not. Yeah, and now I can drive 90 again, no 70. So they love roundabouts here in uh, Denmark. And we truckers hate them. But I can drive 80 here. That's another difference. In Belgium you can drive 90 on the highways. Here in Denmark you can only drive 80. Uh, the same in Germany. In Germany you can only drive 80. And believe it or not, but in real life there are differences as well in all the different countries. So, on the road again. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Woohoo! On the road again. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, I will keep this thing for somebody who can. <laughs> oh, I didn't have to. Okay. Yeah, in Scav Scandinavian country, you don't have to go to the to the other lane. In the in the other countries, you do have to take another lane if you want to go straight and not take the exit. Those are all differences in the game as well as in real life. That's that is what makes the game so great to play. Um, I know people who are truckers in real life and they just love this uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 game. They say that if you play it like with pedals, wheels, uh, handy transmission, all the stuff selected that makes it as real as possible, uh, they told me that it's really great. The game is really great if you play it like that. And yeah, I believe them, right? They are real in real life. They are truckers, so they will know. They will know. They would know. Okay, 150 kilometers to go. Almost there. Almost there. I hope I'm still within the time frame I was given. Uh, I can check that actually. 
I still have 18 minutes to do this. Uh, it, it will be it will be a tight one. It really will be a tight one. I think I'm going to put the gas on it a little bit. 90. Let's go to 90. We just have to watch out for uh, trajectory control. We are driving on the E45 and we are getting loads in, probably from the system itself. Let's see who looted us. Yeah, it's from the system itself. That's a reminder for you guys, you can loot us for free man. Just put exclamation mark loads in chat uh, follow the URL the link and follow the instructions I'm already saving a whole year with these loots to get 5 euros out of it believe it or not I'm stuck at 4 euros they only pay out at a minimum of 5 euros <laughs> that is what you get if you don't have enough viewers who use the system Ninety five kilometers to go. Don't do this. But my daughter thinks I'm a fly. <laughs> Doing 90, actually, you can only drive 80 here, but yeah. I want to be in time, man. I want to deliver this in time. This is my second run today. On the road, my friend, stay on the road. Stay on the road. Also, uh, you will see it in a bit, but I still remember this from three years ago. Uh, the Scandinavian countries, all the uh, factories where I have to deliver and pick up my cargoes. Um, they are all so tiny, man. The entrances, the the uh, passages, everything is just so small and tiny. Um, you don't have a lot of room to maneuver with your truck. If you compare it with uh, all the other European countries. Germany, uh, Belgium, uh, all the other countries, you have room enough to maneuver with your truck. But in the Scandinavian countries, Denmark, Finland, Sweden, it's all so tiny. And sometimes practically impossible. But yeah, nothing is impossible, of course. Okay, I can see my final destination already.
Here you really have to check your mirrors constantly because you see it's already so tiny man. So tiny. You can scratch your truck so easily here. And yeah you know um, when you scratch your truck you can do damage to the cargo and then you don't get paid to the fullest. Almost there. Almost there. I have to deliver here. And I still didn't discover all of this in the game, so this is completely new. This is good for my game process. Progress, progress, sorry. Wrong choice of words. Okay, let's try to park it myself. Oh, it's here. Oh my god, man. Shit on me. Okay, we will do this. Oh, 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 oh. It's the other way you have to steer, man. Oh, what do I do now? Wrong button. Okay, delivered. Um, let's see. I'm not really... It's delivered. Excellent. Excellent. I don't have, uh, I even have a bonus, oh yeah, for parking the trailer the difficult way. I always park the trailer the difficult way, of course. Alright, first of all, I'm um, going to search if there is a company I can buy here. And then I'm uh, going to park my truck and going to take a a little break so let's see on the map can I buy a company here all boy yeah here and I still have to buy it so um, I delivered actually right out of the um, out of the city here we have Ika Ika if you look at the logo what do you think the real company would be Ika. <laughs> so the game developers have licenses to use the real truck logos, the real truck uh, brands, Volvo, Scania, etc., Mercedes, and and so on. But they don't have the um, the licenses to um, to uh, use for the real trucking well no for the real companies I'm sorry for the real companies so Ika is certainly Ikea 
All right, let's drive to um, towards that company. I'm going to buy it, and then I'm going to park my my truck there, take a break, and uh, do something for my daughter. Trying to set up the computer of my wife. Uh, not really for streaming, but for game capturing. Truck goes a little bit faster without uh, a trailer behind. Oh, 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 oh. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. Roundabout. Here is the IKEA on my left. Other companies. And much more green, much more nature in these Scandinavian countries than in uh, the rest of Europe. Um, there is a lot of green and nature to see here. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm speeding for God's sakes. Luckily for me I don't have a cargo behind me. So it won't be registered in the company's books. <laughs> the fines are only registered uh, when you are driving a cargo from point A to B. Traffic lights are not working here, man. Okay, buy the company, buy the garage. It's not a company, it's it's the garage. Buy the garage. Upgrade the garage. We only want an upgraded garage. I want space. And I do have the money, so. Here we go. This is like the garage. It's big. I'm going to fill up my gas tank and then I'm going to park my truck and f you have to upgrade your garages to get a an own gas station here and it's cheaper to put gas or diesel in your truck in your own company than um, And when you do it uh, alongside the road in a gas station, it's way cheaper here than uh, in a gas station. So, there we go. And now I'm going to, um, let's see, park my car, my truck. No, not yet. First of all, I'm going to make sure that uh, my truck is totally fixed. Here we go.
fix the truck. Oh, I only have 141 euros uh, costs, and that is, let's see, a little bit of damage at the engine, a little bit of damage at the transmission, and a little bit of damage, well, the most damage is actually the tires. So that's only logic, uh, that's not from bumping against stuff or something, it's just, um, how do they say in English? Sletage? Uh, the wear off? It, it's just the wear off of, of the tires and the engine and, and the transmission, stuff like that. And now I'm going to put my uh, truck on the trucking resting place, the truck stop, sort of speak. And here I can park my truck. Let's do this right next to the containers here. Where are the lines, man? Oh, here. Here they are. Do you want to see my truck, guys? This is my truck. Heavy duty truck. Hey, why are my lights on again? What the hell? Um... Okay, this is not right. Cabin adjustments. I had to do this yesterday and now I have to do this again. Why? Okay, so these are my beacon lights. Beacon lights. And of course, my big lights. Isn't this nice? I love my Volvo truck, man. I really love my Volvo truck. And you can see the license plate, Belnet, Belnet Trucking, Belgium, Netherlands Trucking. It's just wonderful, even if I say so myself. So, there you go guys, I'm going to take a break, I have to do some stuff for my daughter. Um, we are now in Aalborg, Denmark, and the next stop will be, I don't know yet, I'm not going to take something now. So we are now here in Aalborg, Denmark, the north of Denmark. Actually. If it's possible, I would want to go further to Norway or Sweden. Um, now I'm always talking about Finland, but we don't have Finland here. It's uh, Norway and Sweden. Denmark, Norway and Sweden. So the next time that will be in a... I don't know. Somewhere during the day. Um... I want to drive to Norway or Sweden. So, yeah, 
don't forget to follow me man so you guys get notified when I will be back online I will be back online later today for certain uh, I want to drive uh, up north to Norway or Sweden um, for those who are still hanging around here thanks for being here uh, thanks for supporting me during my daily drives <laughs> and uh, yeah see you all later bye bye